What's up sports fans and welcome to the Sports Shack hosted by Jay Kerr and myself Buddy Burns. We're in, right now we're going to get to something we like to call NHL Western Conference Preview and let's start off with the Vancouver Canucks with uh, <clears throat> the Northwest uh, Division. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they got rid of some guys. I mean, I don't think they're going to be as good as last year. Uh, some teams are fucking as good as gold, buddy. Yeah, the Sedins are good, but you know what? They lost basically Christian Ehrhoff, one of their best defensemen. Yeah, they did lose, uh, his, yeah, they lost him. I mean, I don't think their defense, Their last year their defense has really helped them out a lot. Those guys pinching in. Really well, in the playoffs, I'm in the in the in the per, uh, regular season. Forget the playoffs. It was right all, now. It take, was all like the regular season. It was all the Sandin twins, buddy. No, in the regular season, it was their D jumping in all the time, creating all kinds of fucking havoc. And you know who the best was at? That was Erhoff. And now he's not there. We're gonna see. I don't know. Oh, uh, I think uh, <laughs> they're gonna be. What other team? Calgary. You think... Uh, no, because you know what? Tangay had a crazy year last year. Tangay like 69 points playing with a Ginla. I don't see Tangay fucking getting anywhere near that. I think that line was... That was a one-line team, you know what I mean? That was like the, the Leafs. I mean, yeah. they had one line. The Leafs got rid of all their... Well, let's not go there. Uh, Minnesota, Colorado. Those teams rebuilding... Yeah, uh, another rebuilding team in that in that division. I mean, come on, is, Colorado. Uh, literally, Colorado's best forward is Matt Duchesne. That's not really inspiring. Hey, that kid's. Uh, he's good. He's, he's good. He's amazing. He's good, you know. But like, well, speaking of amazing, about uh, all the players Edmonton have. I mean, their kids are are like massive. You know, Nugent Hopkins, Hall. They got, uh, you know, Hemsky. Uh, what's have, that? Uh, Eberly. They have Eberly. They have all kinds of guys. They have. Uh, you know, that Omer Zik. Buddy, uh, man, the list goes on when it comes to fucking Yeah, they now. have a lot of depth. They just got to wait maybe one, I don't know another, they're... another two years or so. They they have the depth up front to, to run out three good lines, but they don't have the back end or the goaltender to... Like, I don't know how good these kids are going to be stopping. I mean, you have to think that I would never... Well, the Edmonton toughened up a little bit. They got... Uh... I, I can't I just, say, I don't know the guys that they got. I, I fucking forget right now. I just don't think, you know head, what, that team, it's going to be like the over-under in every game is going to be five and a half or six because there's going to be a lot of goals scored in those games. Oh, yeah. That's money. That's right? money. I mean... Okay, let's uh, move on to the, the Central with Detroit. Well, I mean, uh, you know, it's going to be between, I think, Detroit and Chicago. You know? Detroit, yeah, well, that's how it usually is. But Columbus, you see Columbus in the mix? No. Now Nash has got fucking Carter. Uh, Columbus, the thing is, I think I think even Nashville's better than Columbus, even with all the Well, Nashville's players. a good team. They're, they're fucking right? a blue-collar team. But I think team. you still have to say that, you know what? Uh, Crawford really showed me last year that he can play a net for the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks have, still have a good defense. Their forwards are still deep up there, and now that they're going to have Marion Hossa for an entire year, they're going to have two legitimate scoring lines. They're going to be a lot better than they were last year, and last year they had a lot of injuries. They, they kind of picked it up at the end. I think they're going to be a better team than they were last year, and they were pretty good in the playoffs last year, right? So, In your pool that you did, uh, uh, you have uh, I you have Patrick King. Yeah, I have, Patrick, I have also Marion Hossa, too. Yeah. So I got Marion Hossa. See, I didn't even know that, but I could just see because fuck. Oh, they're they're a good team, right? Yeah, oh, they are, buddy. Fucking Jonathan Tease is fucking yeah, one of my favorite players, sure. buddy. Okay, let's talk about the the Pacific. Well, we talked about Vancouver. I mean, I think there's there's some good teams in the Pacific. I think you know San uh, Jose. Well, you got San Jose there. You got Anaheim. Anaheim. Anaheim's going to be a dark horse. I mean, nobody really knows how good this team can be. The dark horse in that division is fucking uh, L.A. I think L.A. is a dark horse because they have so much talent everywhere. They have top-tier talent. They don't have the depth of, say, like a Toronto, but they have better, like, top top two lines and a better, like, top three or oh, four dude. defensemen LA's than a lot most fucking, teams in the league. Yeah, dude. And we're and they're forwards. They got fucking Kopitar, and then they just well, they uh, got Penner. They, they got, got Justin Williams. Exactly. They got Simon Gagne. Added uh, Mike, Mike Richards. Richards. Yeah, they're come on, man. They're 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 gonna be uh, a team to reckon with yeah. in the fucking yeah, West. They got Doughty back. You know, they got Jack. They Johnson just signed them. The problem is, we're gonna be talking about this during the year. Is Jonathan Quick? 
I like him, bro. Hey, I like him uh, so much, I got these guys to fucking win the Stanley Cup. Well, you know what the thing is, is that Jonathan Quick will not be the goaltender at the end of the year. It will be Jonathan Bernier. That kid is ready to step up, and Quick is just... Whoever, whoever, as long Quick as they win slow. games, I don't care. Quick is biding his time. Like, he I mean, he didn't show that much last year. You know what I mean? Like, and Bernier's just, he's too good to be, to be sitting over there. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to be playing this year. So... What about... Uh, that's a good dark horse, you know? That's going to be a team that's going to be a lot you better like, than uh, You like the Sharks. I think this is San Jose's year. I mean, I think they're obviously... When they have guys like Ryan Klo and stuff like that, they got guys that are coming up. Uh, they had, like, good rookies last year. Who knows? They might have, you know, the sophomore curse, but... Buddy, when it comes to uh, to playoffs... You're right, okay? They're... F you know what? No but at, show at, some point, at some point, they're going to... I think that they're going to put something together. They might not win it, but you know what? For the regular Oh, they're season, always a contender, you know what I mean? I don't want to do... The thing is, I don't want to do playoffs in the NHL because any team that makes it in the NHL... Remember, we were talking about this last year. Any team that makes it to the playoffs in the NHL has a legitimate chance of winning. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of... The, I'm just going to say regular season. I think San Jose wins that division and maybe even wins the Western Conference. Okay? So that's, that's my team to win the Western Conference. I don't know. I like. Uh, I know you. You like, uh, but that's gonna be a tough division. You know what I mean? Oh, I, mean, I know it is, dude. I know Phoenix it is. Phoenix got a good goaltender. But it's just what I. It's just what I like. You know what I mean? It's just I like that dark horse. Yeah. Well, I, I think last year I didn't go much on the on the edge picking. Uh, well, I think Vancouver the problem Canucks. is. Well, you know what? Vancouver is gonna do good because that Northwest is by far the weakest division in all of the NHL. Yeah, it pretty much is. Right. I mean, you got two pushovers in Minnesota and Colorado. Colorado. And At one have, point, they were fucking. They were the horrible last out. year. Yeah. Yeah. Then, last year, fucking the past couple of years. You know. And then you know what? Uh, then you have uh, you know a young team in in Edmonton, and you got Calgary, who's not nearly as good as people think they are. <laughs> I mean, Vancouver is easily going to win that division, and even oh, going to be yeah, a top three seed. I just like to see the Central Division and the uh, the Pacific or the, the ones Central. That... The Central is deep. Yeah. I mean, I still think Columbus is going to do shit. And no one's talking about St. Saint, uh, Louis, but Halak is an amazing goaltender. He is an amazing goaltender. Okay, and behind Halak, that team is going to fucking... Oh, know, they're going to win fucking games. I'm not saying they're not going to win I games. think they're going to make the playoffs, and I think that's going to be like a Dark Horse team. I don't know, buddy. I think, I think that's uh, the Dark Horse in the West. That's the Dark Horse team. Columbus, I think, will do better than uh, St. Louis well, we'll this year. We'll see. We'll see. I think St. Louis will do better than Columbus. You think Columbus right. will do better. We'll talk about that during the year. Okay. Let's end our show there. Uh, follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, check out our website, www.thesportsshack.ca. We say it. We play it. Later.